1 billion knockouts moments. Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be taking a look at some very 1 billion knockouts moments. On the menu today will be boxing, kickboxing and Muay Thai fights. Oh, also a lot of San Chai, one of the most intelligent fighters ever. We'll try to delve into moments that haven't been seen before or at least too much. Let's give some shine to those fighting outside of the mainstream. With that being said, let's go ahead and get right into things. Here are my high IQ knockouts in fighting. Also, just a warning, I'll be intermittently fanboying over Muay Thai legend Sen Chai throughout this video. You've been warned. High IQ for the offensive fighter or low IQ for the recipient of these kicks? Maybe both, who knows? But yes, these kicks are very effective. What I really like is how the man in yellow attacks with the same technique, just on the opposite side for the second knockdown. If it's not broke, don't fix it, but, you know, get creative. The guy with yellow headgear wins. No, seriously, this is pretty smart boxing. The man in black slips his head off the center line as he throws his counter overhand right. This is what people mean when they say that boxing is offense and defense all the time at the same time. Him moving his head out of the way is what made this a winning exchange for him. As the clip starts, we see two Muay Thai fighters getting to work. They get back to the action, and the guy in blue decides his opponent is overdue for a nap. He drops his adversary with a step-in elbow. This technique is a low-risk, high-reward one. This shot really, really hurt the fighter in red. His eyes are still locked on his opponent, but the ability to get up left his body as the elbow landed. The dude rocking the blue is not someone to mess with here. I'm not sure what his name is, but it wouldn't surprise me if his last name is Fury or Volkanovsky. Blue Gloves noticed that his opponent kept his lead hand low no matter what. So he throws out a half-hearted jab to occupy the low lead hand and then comes over the top with a right hand that would shake the chips out of the vending machine that just ate my dollar. Where were you when I needed you, Blue Shorts? The man in red gloves just doesn't quite know what to do with his hands. His guard is there, sure, but he seems very jumpy and spazzy. So Green Shorts decides to throw a jumping spinning back kick to the liver. Luckily for him, his opponent's guard was all over the place, but just not where the kick was going. His foot detonates the liver and sends the man in red gloves to the canvas to writhe in pain, what I'm assuming was no less than 10 minutes. Santo, you creative striker, you. He, wearing the blue, immediately hurts his opponent as this clip starts. However, he doesn't rush. He lets the finish blossom organically. He reads his opponent a bit more before throwing a head kick that rings the bell once again. Hurt and wobbled, but still up, Dekdoy is as tough as they come. You can't out-tough an elbow to the jaw, though. This shot lands clean, and that was the end of the fight. Right away, the man rocking what I think is a Brazilian tank top is able to drop his opponent. The action ensues, and he's just too good, too smart, and too suave for the man in blue. He rolls under a hook and throws a right hand that flips the light switch off. Watching it back, that right hand was picture perfect, right where it needed to be with just enough power behind it. This was a beautiful display of boxing. Right away, we can see the taller fighter in blue gloves overwhelming his opponent from kickboxing range. These kicks are mostly being defended, but they are menacing the opposition. Just as the man in red is used to getting bullied from kicking range and expects another leg strike, he shells up, only to be met with an elbow that pierces through the guard. The ref saw the fight leave the fighter and called a stop to the action. This leg kick is a thing of beauty. Obviously, there was an accumulation of leg strikes in the fight prior to this, but the one shown here is the most significant and put a stop to the fight. The fighter sporting all black throws a teep to the body. He then angles off and feints an elbow while his opponent rushes in. This elbow threat has his opponent circle off and directly into a leg kick that stiffens up the muscles immediately upon contact. His opponent was not able to get back up before the count of 10. Here we have one of my personal favorite fighters ever, Muay Thai legend Sen Chai. Right away, we see his educated cross. Then he's able to rock his opponent with a kick upstairs. Sen Chai then waits for an attack, which was a hook, and countered it with another cross from his left hand. This was enough to drop his opponent in a dramatic fashion. 
yet another thing of beauty. Our guy rocking the blue garb in this equation plays Matador here. His opponent presses forward, but he's already cut an angle. The pressuring fighter walks into nothingness, that is, until a kick finds his chin. This is one of the biggest IQ flexes in Muay Thai that I've seen. The way he baits his opponent into walking into his kick is incredibly high-level stuff. Sen Chai is so darn good. He's able to drop his opponent with a left cross. Trying to get some momentum back, Tuhu throws a tornado kick that misses by a few miles. No tornado sirens went off for Sen Chai here. Same as earlier, Sen Chai was able to land with that straight left. This one really rang Tuhu's bell, and that marked the end of the fight. Okay, so first of all, kudos to Red Gloves for taking this fight. His opponent looks like the quintessential superhero. Turns out he can fight like one too. The man in black shorts throws a leg kick right as his opponent is pivoting on that leg for his lead hook. This took his left leg's health bar from 100 to zero in the blink of an eye, or for this instance, in the kick of a leg. He tried to tough it out, but his leg was shot after this kick, and the fight was over. Here we have a creative Muay Thai finish. Creativity and high fight IQ aren't always synonymous, but in this case, I'd say one stems from the other. The fighter sporting the black gear doesn't feel like he's terribly tied into this clinch, so he gets funky with the striking. He throws a spinning back elbow that turns his opponent into a defense-only fighter for a second. Taking advantage of the sedentary opponent, he throws another elbow over the guard, dropping his opponent. This punch was so beautifully timed. There's nothing extraordinary about the shot selection, nor is there anything super flashy about this. However, I think the timing and accuracy are incredible. He caught his opponent as he was circling away from the power shot, but he still managed to hit the bullseye on the moving target. Not only was this a fantastic knockdown, but it was the final blow of the fight. Right away, after a brief pause in the action, Chai Narin drops a left hook on his opponent that made everyone in the room's health insurance skyrocket in price. Just being near a punch that vicious is a liability. He put his heart, soul, and entire body into this punch. It landed as his opponent was stepping in with an attempted knee to the midsection. Chai Narin caught his opponent off balance and off guard, leaving his jaw offset. Great fight IQ on display by the fighter in red, despite his kicks being checked and his opponent looking entirely unbothered. Regardless, the man kept chopping away with leg kicks, which really, really paid off for him. He believed in his kicks and the damage that they could do, and eventually, his opponent couldn't mask the pain anymore. The fighter in blue goes down, and the referee almost immediately knows he won't be able to continue. Hey, if you're liking the video so far, make sure you drop a like and a comment. Let us know which of these knockouts or fighters are your favorites. While you're at it, I double dare you to subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us. What a back and forth battle we've got here. But it's red shorts that eventually gets the better of his opponent. He lands a steppy and elbow and then a knee to the liver. Wondering if that knee landed clean? You can see within seconds the devastation of the knee. His opponent was unable to keep himself upright. That's what getting hit in the liver does to a person. The brain says, hey, no more please. And the recipient is forced to just hit an armadillo roll on the ground. And if you're me, there's a lot of crying involved too. You'd be surprised how many professionals resort to headhunting when they think the momentum is on their side. Not here though. John was beating the heck out of his opponent's midsection. In doing this, he opened up much more opportunities to land the knockout blow. An elbow while breaking from the clinch is what gave his opponent a way out of the fight. It definitely hurt, but it might have been the accumulation of everything earlier that resulted in him going down like this. Gomba versus Senshai. This is a great battle. I'd recommend you check this fight out, along with every other fight that Senshai's been a part of. Gomba had nothing, and I mean nothing, to show San Chai that he hasn't seen before. You can see the defeated look on his face, and that's when the GOAT turned things up to 10. San Chai occupies his opponent's right hand and then drives a left cross into his face. This is one of the more brutal knockouts on this list. The fighter in red, named Stevens, is walked down by his lankier adversary. Then, the two traded shots. 
However, our dude in red moved his head off the center line while throwing his elbow strike. Stevens crumbles his opponent with this shot and walks away unscathed. The man in black walked right into this elbow. And let's be honest, there's no way of getting up from a shot like that. Slightly less technique to talk about here, but I'm a huge fan of mixing things up a bit more than throwing out nothing but hooks when an opponent is hurt. The dude in blue is chilling until the ref gives the green light to get back to work. It's then that he unloads one last time. The winging hooks weren't working until an uppercut popped the man in red's head out from his guard and hurt him even more. Rock'em Sock'em style. The man in red may have left with a loss, but he probably left two inches taller thanks to that uppercut. If you're wondering how to set up an overhand punch, this. This is exactly how to set up an overhand punch. Jab to the body, jab to the body. Right when his opponent thinks he's got our dude in red figured out and tries to counter the body jab, he's got a semi-truck of an overhand right heading toward his chin, mouth, and nose. Of course, this was the end of the fight. That was one of the cleanest overhand strikes I've seen in a while. Our friend in blue kept throwing kicks, and it gave the man in red an idea. While trying to circle out, Blue Gloves runs right into a leg kick, a very choppy leg kick. I feel like this kick could move my entire house over an inch or two. So imagine what it would do to a leg. No need to completely imagine though, we've got a result right here for you. This man is left immobile after this shot that he ran into. Of course, there were probably kicks earlier that helped build up to this, but that kick in and of itself was lethal. Kong Nun Thong was in his flow state here, just absolutely on fire. Seen in blue throwing multiple head kicks, he leaps in with a stepping elbow that makes a floor mat out of his opponent. Again, it was the diversity of attack that aided this elbow. That and the way he shifted his entire being into this strike was absolutely gorgeous. Yet another head kick worth watching a hundred times over. The man in red threw a jab before the kick. When he jabbed, his opponent went to kick the lead leg, which he thought all the pressure would be on. And well, it was, but his leg kick just came too slowly. With a hand drop to throw the low kick, the man in red went high with his. And it's that unfortunate scenario where a shin meets your chin. Okay, so the overhand is probably the most predictable punch in fighting, because on the way up to a high level, it's a punch often dealt with. Everyone hits one of those punching bags that gives a score with an overhand and thinks they can fight. But the one we see here transcends that beginner threshold. The skill, the timing, and the accuracy resulted in a beautiful knockout. Back to the brutal finishes. Holy hell, viewer discretion is advised for this one. Petrakin gets very creative with his elbows here. He hits his opponent with the inner part of the elbow, right, then left. The first one stunned his opponent, and the left sent him to the Shadow Realm to meet anyone that I had a Yu-Gi-Oh duel with in fourth grade. We saw a very similar knockout to this one earlier in the video. With his back on the fence in a half-hearted clinch situation, the dude in blue throws his head to the side to avoid oncoming traffic. While doing this, he launches an elbow strike from his soul to his opponent's general facial area. What a beautiful finish. This is some clean sparring and how it should be done. The dude with the green headgear obviously knows a thing or two about throwing those hands. He level changes and throws a hook to the body. The punch leaves his face, hits the target, and returns to his face faster than it left. This is a beautiful display of technique, albeit a very painful experience for the man on the ground. Just because someone is tired and or hurt doesn't mean that another fighter should bum rush them. Sure, it works sometimes, but other times it evens the playing field because it's easy to gas out when going on an offensive onslaught. The man in red gloves displays a great skill, patience. He takes his time, picks his shots, and is attacking anything given to him. This is an incredible way to win a fight and shows that a fighter is actually thinking while in the cage. I love to see the gamesmanship of Sen Chai. He adds a layer of comedic value when he fights, and it's so fun to watch as a fan. His opponent misses a head kick, and Sen Chai starts looking around trying to find it. But back to his skills, he throws his signature left cross into a left knee. This hits the body, and it hits the body very hard. His opponent couldn't even mask his pain. He had to take a break. 
Don't watch the hands, but watch the feet. You'll see, albeit very slightly, how the man in blue cuts his opponent off and discourages him from attempting to circle away to the center of the ring. In doing this, the man in blue renders his opponent a sitting duck with its back against the wall, and then he quacks him with a right hand. That was bad, but yeah, he absolutely cracks him with a right hand and then a knee. Fighting is a game of inches. You see people slipping shots? The punches aren't missing by that much. Here we see a fighter attempting something we see a lot of in Muay Thai specifically, and that's lean back to avoid a kick. However, the kick wasn't avoided, it clipped the chin. However, the kick wasn't avoided. It clipped the chin, which when leaning back, it's a very open target. This lapse of judgment and distance management was all it took to end the fight. I don't care one bit if this guy is cocky. His skills reflect that he should be cocky. Hands down, cutting angles, making his opponent miss, and completely discouraging him, Red Shorts knows what he's doing, and he definitely knows that he can do it well. A right hook clips a bit behind the ear, which will throw someone's equilibrium off. So after getting dropped, when the injured fighter tries to get back up, he's fumbling around the place, like me after my first six pack. Even if someone is shelled up and focusing only on defense, there will always be something exposed and ready to be hit especially a Muay Thai, where there are more weapons than boxing, for example. The man in red is blasting his opponent's shell, going over his guard, and dropping the attacks lower to the body. Eventually, this is too much, and his opponent goes down. The variety in attacks and his success rate with his strikes was absolutely phenomenal here. Want some more of the Sen Chai cross-to-knee combo? I certainly do, almost as much as his opponents don't. We see it right away in this clip, which forces his opponent to take a knee. He then sweeps his opponent with so much ease. The GOAT is later able to put an end to this fight with, can you guess? The cross to knee combination once again. The dude in blue shorts knows how to box. Just with his hands, he's able to land bomb after bomb. He picks his shots well and times them perfectly. Every shot that he threw in this clip had a purpose and served that purpose perfectly. And that's what makes this a high IQ moment in a fight. It's one thing to spaz with a combination and land at 20%, but to hit these shots the way he did is like shredding a song in Guitar Hero perfectly, hitting the right spots at exactly the right moments. Okay, speaking of spazzing out for a combination, but hey, it's Sen Chai. He can do it all. He just unloads on his opponent like he's hitting the heavy bag after a stressful day. His opponent made a mistake letting himself get backed into a corner like that, and probably a bigger mistake taking this fight in the first place. However, when Sen Chai is throwing this combination, it's hard to find a fraction of a second where his opponent had a slight chance to counter. Sen Chai overwhelmed him and won the fight after doing so. Net Pet here in the red shorts certainly can smell blood in the water. From the clinch, he's throwing these bludgeoning knees to the thigh and knee area. He shifts his entire body into these shots. Then, on the break, he throws a leg kick that gave off fatality energy. It did sort of seem like a sweep at first, but as the recipient returned to his feet, it was obvious that he'd more than likely be leaving in a wheelchair. This was a brutal stoppage, but a very great display of thinking while fighting. Well, that does it for the video. Again, make sure you leave a like, we do appreciate it. Subscribe and hit that bell icon to make sure you never miss out on any future videos. Anything you want to see next? Drop a comment and let us know. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.